Hey everyone and welcome back to Beauty News with Wendy, the weekly show where I share with you the latest trending news from the world of beauty. This is episode 3, let's get started. Move over Michelle Fan, there's a new beauty queen in town. Beauty blogger and YouTuber Bethany Moda has surpassed Michelle in subscribers. While Michelle holds strong with plenty of viewers at 7.7 .7 million, Bethany pulls ahead with 8.7 million making her the number one most subscribed to beauty guru on YouTube. What an incredible feat to pull ahead of Michelle Fan, and props to you, Bethany, for achieving this. And as far as everyone saying, oh, Michelle is old news, you guys, she's not old news. If you look at what Michelle has done, she's no longer just a beauty guru on YouTube. That was years ago when she started this. Now she's got her own makeup line. She has Ipsy, Ipsy Open Studio. She travels between New York and LA. So the fact that she is still at 7.7 .7 million is amazing. And I am not surprised at all that someone like Bethany has surpassed her in viewers because Bethany, while she is amazing, I don't think she has as much on her plate as Michelle, not to downplay what she does at all, but Bethany is able to upload content to her channel, you know, with more time on her hands than Michelle. And of course, that's going to bring you more subscribers when you're having content. Michelle, I think now she uploads a video once a week, once every week and a half. So you're going to have viewers that are going to go to the channels that have more consistency, which is, you know, great. But I think this is something we to be expected. It's not like Michelle is old news. It's not like Bethany's like, get over a punch, punch, kick, get out of my way. Well, it kind of is. It's kind of cool to be like, hey, I got more subscribers than Michelle, but you know. Uh, so congrats again to Bethany for being number one on YouTube. Kim Kardashian is adding beauty guru to her ever-growing resume. In anticipation of the new website she's launching this summer, Kim tweeted that she's adding hair and makeup tutorials to the site. Want to learn from Kim in person? She'll be holding a masterclass in July with Mario, excuse me while I try to pronounce this last name, Didovanovic, her longtime makeup artist. In this masterclass, you can learn Kim's top beauty secrets, how to become a successful pro makeup artist, and how to build your social media presence. Sounds like fun? Ticket prizes start at just $500. So <laughs> you can't see his expression. My husband's behind the camera and he doesn't read any of my show notes. He just read this and his jaw just dropped at the $500 ticket price. So let me, here's my thoughts on this, okay? I will put it out there. I'm not the biggest Kim Kardashian fan. Um, a masterclass with a very big celebrity appearance with Kim, obviously it's going to come with a hefty price tag. Would I personally pay $500 just to see Kim? Since I'm not a big fan, I'm gonna say no. But I can see plenty of women who either would save up for it or would at least try. Um, a couple of other notes that I have here on my computer. So the tickets for general admission is $500. It is $800 for golden seats and $1,000 for platinum seats. I don't know what that means, but I know that golden and platinum uh, I read it on the when I did some research. You're gonna get swag bags that's equivalent to about eight hundred to a thousand dollars. I think maybe just eight hundred. Let's just play it safe and say eight hundred in the swag bag, which kind of pays for itself if you want to look at it that way. Um, there's also been talks of having a discounted price for the general admission for two hundred ninety nine dollars, which is a lot more reasonable to me. If you think for a master makeup class by someone who is a pro makeup artist like Mario. Um, we'll take Bobby Brown for example. Her classes generally are about $125 to $250 for a master class. They usually run about four hours depending. So $299 is definitely a more reasonable price than the $500. But then again, it's Bobby Brown by herself versus Mario and Kim Kardashian. So you know you can kind of weigh your options there. But yeah, I think I would probably skip the master class and I would just, if I really, there's tons, tons of YouTube videos of how to contour like Kim, by Kim, you know, uh, behind the camera or in front of the camera and by her makeup artist. So I think the only reason I go 
to, it's to not really learn in secrets because you can find it online. The only reason I go is if I'm serious about becoming a pro makeup artist and I'm serious about growing my uh, social media presence. But I got to be really, really serious to drop $500. You know what I mean? All right, guys, this is the segment where I like to call shop or drop. I have picked out a few products that I want to discuss with you and let you know whether I would shop them or drop them. We've had our share of colored mascaras, but how about one that smells like cucumber? The UK brand Rimmel posted an Instagram photo of the new mascara titled Lift Me Up. The formula is infused with pro-vitamin B5 and cucumber extract to condition lashes. <laughs> I can't say it without laughing. So cucumber scented mascara, I am gonna just drop it. Um, a disclaimer, I do love Rimmel and I love their products. I own quite a few, but this mascara, aside from the fact that it smells like cucumber, which sounds refreshing because it's better than like a chemical smell or that really sharp perfumey smell sometimes you smell in your mascara, which I don't know why you need perfume scented stuff for your eyes because you're not going to, anyways, I'm going to go on a tangent, so I'm just stop myself there. But this, aside from the cucumber scent, reminds me of the Wonder Lash with Argon Oil. So I don't see myself dropping another five, six, maybe seven dollars for another mascara that's essentially gonna just condition my lashes and smells like cucumber. Uh, in the UK, they already have this. It's called Wake Me Up. In the US, when we get it, it's gonna be called Lift Me Up. It's gonna be the same thing. The packaging, same color. Literally, the only difference is one word. What if your nail polish remover smelled like chocolate instead of that awful burning chemical smell? Ciate Chalk Pot is a fragrant nail polish remover infused with the scent of chocolate. You can choose from mint chocolate, orange chocolate, white chocolate, or dark chocolate fragrances. Each has a delicious chocolate aroma with a non-drying acetone-free formula that safely removes your polishes. I am going to shop this purely on the fact that the product can smell like chocolate. <laughs> Um, that sounds great. Ciate, uh, they've always been very innovative, you know, with the little nail pearls, with the foil nails. Their polishers are great. Super cute packaging. I don't see why I, I wouldn't walk into Sephora and, and buy this, but I did see a picture and it's, I don't know how many ounces, I forgot to look that up. And it's like a sponge and you just dip your finger in it and you kind of swiggle around. Um, which is not anything new. It's $8 though for something that small. Uh, if I had the cash when it comes time to it, like for like a splurge, yeah, I go in it and I, and I would get it at Sephora just to try it, just have my nails smell like chocolate. I think it's kind of cool because honestly, that's like the one thing my husband hates when I do uh, my nails and he walks in the room, he's like, oh my God. And it just, the acetone smell just hits you in the face. Like you walk in the room, you're just like, nails, nail polish. Okay, enough. So nail polish remover that smells like chocolate, totally shopping it. Heads up, Hello Kitty fans. Soft Lips has teamed up with Sanrio to release an exclusive Hello Kitty Cube lip balms. There are three flavors, Smart, which is apple, Pretty, passion fruit, and Cute, strawberry banana, each with its own adorable packaging. There will also be a four-piece gift set with the fourth flavor remaining a mystery. The lip balms will hit stores in July while the gift set hits store in November. Do you have to ask? <laughs> shop. It's Hello Kitty. I'm gonna shop it. It's got like my favorite things, Hello Kitty and lip balm. Um, yeah, if I can find it in the store, usually when it's something exclusive like this, I have a really hard time finding it and I have to end up driving to like four stores. But believe you me, I'm sure gonna try looking for it and I'm gonna get all three. I'll probably then get the gift pack just to get the fourth flavor and then give away the three that I only or probably, you know what? I probably keep the other three anyways just to have them. But yeah, no, I totally shop. And honestly, we're just going to get right, just real honest here. Do I need to have this? No, because the cubes aren't shaped like Hello Kitty. Ah, that would have been super cute. Soft lips, that's your next thing. Make it, instead of a cube, make it like Hello Kitty shaped, like a cat. Oh, so much cuter. But it's literally just a cube with the Hello Kitty graphic on it. The only thing that's different is the flavoring, which is kind of cool. Like the apple, the passion fruit, and the striped banana, and the mystery flavor. So I definitely shop it. They're not super expensive. They're about uh, $3.49 a piece, from what I remember. And they last a really long time. 
and they're moisturizing, so I totally shop. All right, all right you guys, that's all the time we have for today for beauty news. Tune in next week to see what else is new in the world of beauty. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and share. Also, I would like to start taking your questions, so please feel free to send them to me via Twitter at Wendy Lee Zaney with hashtag beauty news with Wendy. See you next time.